Hey everybody, how are you? Um, I am excited today because I am here with just a good old fashioned haul from my very favorite thrift store. You may want to grab something to drink and put on some comfy clothes for this one because I think it's gonna be a long one. This is just so nostalgic for me, just like a huge epic haul to share with you. So stick around, I'll be right back. Hello everybody, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay, and I make videos here on YouTube and share my reselling journey with you. Today, um, I'm not doing a thrift across New England haul, but I am bringing you a haul for my very favorite thrift store here in Massachusetts, which is my little honey hole, so I don't share where it is, although I have shared it before in my videos, so if you wanted to do a little research, you can figure out where it is. This place is under new ownership and I was very nervous when it changed hands because it was just a place that I rely on all the time. Um, it always delivers when I go there. It's about 30 minutes from my house. The cool thing about the new ownership is that they removed 95% of the markup tags. Designer, no designer, regardless of what it is, you got the base price. And I have an example in here of something that was $40 that I got for $5.99 because they removed the markups. The only downside is I had no idea they were doing this and they sold out of most of their Lululemon, Athleta, all the stuff that they mark up was wiped out. Damn, I'm sad I missed that. I don't live super close to this place. So um, you win some, you lose some. This is an extraordinary haul. I would say my best in months, probably since the last time I went shopping here. So let's just dive right in. If you enjoy haul videos and you wanna follow along my reselling journey, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, it really means the world to me. And yeah, I release videos a couple times a week. For your enjoyment. Sometimes they're educational. Most of the time they're just fun and I like to just share my journey with you. So let's dig in. I'm going to start with something. Oh, and some of the items have already sold. So I do have my spreadsheet here. It's been about three weeks since I went shopping here. Most of these items will be listed. The bonus of being late to the game um, as far as getting my video up. So most of the stuff will be listed. Some of the stuff I'm sending to The Real Real and uh, some stuff is already sold. So I'll share that with you. I spent $275 and I got 50 items. I love a good round number. Hopefully I have all 50 items here. I'm gonna do my best to make sure all are represented. For every $100 you spend, you get $10 off. So I hit that $300 mark. I think I was at 304, but I got $30 off, which was what brought me to the 276. So if I do 276 and I divide it by 50, it means my average cost of goods here was $5.52. And wait until you see some of the stuff that I got. All right, let's start with the bang. I have never found this brand before, it's, but this is Eero or Iro, I-R-O. This beautiful tweed blazer. They charge $5.99 or $6.99 for their blazers. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has a zip front, it's a size 34. This is one of the pieces I might send to The Real Real. Let me know, would you list this on your own or would you send it? The Real Real is not like my favorite place. However, some people do have great success with it and um, certain pieces, I don't wanna be foolish and hold on to them forever when I could make some money. This is a brand I thought this could be a bolo, although I don't think I saw, I don't remember what the comps were on this. The brand is Set, S-E-T, and it says Urban Deluxe, made in Europe. Um, this is another little tweed jacket, uh, double-breasted, kind of the same vibe as that. These were the things that I had put aside to maybe send to the real real. Next up is this beautiful Lafayette 148 blazer. This is another brand that's super high on retail, but for me tends to be a very slow mover in my closet. But every once in a while, someone will come in and scoop up a piece for a really great return. And I feel like this blazer has a lot going for it. It's a nice summer print, the stripes, the cream, it's different. It's not your average black blazer from Lafayette 148. So we'll see how that does. Oh, and this, this dress that I'm wearing. Oh, such a story about this dress. So I found this dress. It is Mary Mecco. I'm sure many of you have already recognized their pattern. This is like a classic floral print from Mary Mecco. It's 100% silk. It is not the collab with Target. This retails between $250 and $350, $400. There are a couple different variations. I listed this for $199 and I went on my way. Notice that it was my size. 
decided to try it on, absolutely fell in love with it, wore it to Boston for the night for my anniversary. I just celebrated 26 years with Jay. And we were there and I just loved this dress. It's just like a shirt dress. It just hangs like, I just love loose and easy feeling. It was really hot in Boston and it was so great with a pair of flip flops. I could dress it up. I'm in love with this. It has all the great colors. Here's the catch. Somebody sent me a $150 offer on it on, Ju on June 26th or 27th, something like that, right after my anniversary. And I was like, oh my God, but I love this dress now. Like I have completely fallen in love with this dress. Here I am with a $150 offer. And I told Jay and he's like, don't sell that. He said, I'll buy it off of you for 150 and I want you to keep it, which I thought was the sweetest thing. So this is staying with me. Um, I kind of wanted to keep it anyways, but I felt a little guilty, like, wow, $150. I paid $8.99 for it. And he's like, I'll buy it. So yeah, I gotta take him up on that offer. I'll tell him to Venmo me and then <laughs> I'll keep the dress. All right, I got these Lululemon cropped pants. I loved that these were just super fun and casual, wide leg. Um, here's the Lululemon logo. This place always marked up their Lululemon and so it was so nice for it not to be marked up. And I love when it still has the hang tag. The hang tag definitely shows some age. Looks like these are a zero. No, that can't be. I bet these are a 10, but this is torn. Their regular leggings at the store are $3.99. So, so far so good, right? A few things have already sold. This is one of them that sold. Um, I just started selling on Facebook Marketplace and I cross post using Vendu. This was my first item to sell on Facebook Marketplace and it sold the day I listed it for $75. And ironically, the same day I got an $80 offer for it on Poshmark. Um, but actually Facebook Marketplace only takes 5% in fees. So even though the offer was higher on Poshmark, I still made more money selling this on Facebook Marketplace. Selling, still made more money selling this on Facebook Marketplace. Can you believe the condition of this? There is like just the very start of wear on the corners, which is really typical for long shop. So when you find a long shop bag, that's usually the first thing I look at is to see how the corners look. But this bag is stunning. This retails for $265 um, and I only paid $5.99 for it. Oh my gosh, this haul was insane. I'm dying to go back. Oh, one of the first things I saw when I got there were these Hunter boots. They do have like a little bit of, you know, like matting where it loses a little bit of the shine, but I can restore that and bring the shine back. These are, I think these were like a size 10. $4.99 is what they sell all their shoes for here. This was another pair of pants that I was thinking about maybe sending to the Real Real. I don't typically love to pick up colored pants, but these are more like, they're kind of like straight leg looking trouser pants. They're really nice. They're a heavy, heavy cotton. And I love this mustard color. So the brand is Acme Studios. I did decide to list them myself. There's a little bit of separation here. Um, so I think that if the real real gets these, they might not accept them. So I'm just gonna list them. Comps weren't outstanding on this, but this brand is really good. All right, next up was this Free People jumpsuit. I think they charged me $8.99 for this. This is just so cute. I loved this for summer, just this wide leg. Check it out, super wide leg boho style there i did find some stock photos on this as well which always helps when it comes to free people stuff because it's so oversized um and what size is this this is a size medium which is great really comfy just throw it on and go no worries um also i got this lululemon scarf this was two dollars and 99 cents it is like new this is the vinyasa scarf i've sold this a couple times it won't be a ton of money, um, but these retail, I think for like $42, $48 and they snap so you can use them as a shawl. They are also like a fun infinity scarf. It's a little dated. I mean, these were really big about eight years ago, um, but I'm still not gonna say no to it. Really cute. I love, I actually love the fluorescent. I don't wanna get any makeup on it, but you can like jumble it so it's like really comfy around you like this. If you unsnap it, you can wear it like a shawl. Not that anybody's wearing shawls <laughs> with their athletic wear, but you know, if you're cold, it can cozy you up. 
And then if you don't want to wear it like an infinity scarf, you can just do this. So yeah, very versatile piece. I'll probably list it around 30, $35. I'm not sure. Um, funny enough, they did charge me like, gosh, like $9.99 for these. And they called them designer jeans, which I was like, oh, most of their jeans are $7.99. And these weren't even in the section that was marked up, but they're called Dear John. I'd never seen this brand before. Um, but they retail for a good amount. They're size 30 and I picked them up because they were new with tag. I don't know that I would have picked them up if I thought they were $9.99, but they were totally the style that I'm looking for right now. They're a size 30, which is a good size. It's like a size 10 and they're new with tag. So I think I have these listed for $60. Comps were all over the place on this brand. It really depended upon the style that was listed and um, the condition, whether it was new or not. But I think this had style, it had size, and um, it had condition all going for it. And brand too, so we'll see. Oh, I was very excited about these too. I got these Vince shoes. And when I bought them, and I knew it when I saw it in the store, one of the toes was like just black, like really, really dark from just, you know, whatever. I love the square heel. Look at how the heel is a little bit squared here. But they're these gorgeous blush sandals, $4.99. And I literally took a um, wipey. I buy them, you know, cheap at Ollie's or Ocean State Job Lot or wherever I can find big bulky packages of them cheap and I have them everywhere in my house. I have them in my car, my studio. I have them here when I ship because they're just gentle enough to get off stains um, before I have to like really treat something. So yeah, the toe was pretty dark and it pretty much came off. You see a little bit of the toe imprint on these, but I love vents and these are a gorgeous suede. They're a beautiful summer sandal. And yeah, probably gonna list these in that $60 range as well. This is the bag that they had marked for $40. So I've always talked about these tags and I've never actually shown them to you because they, I don't know, sometimes I feel like they cut them off in the store. Maybe I have shown them to you before. But in this store, these neon yellow tags mean $19.99. And if there are two, you got it, it means $40. So I had seen this bag and it's by Holding Horses. This was sold at Anthropology, and I love this style. It has like metallic flex in it, leather, hobo, slouchy, boho, right up my alley, right? So, so nice. It's in excellent condition. Here's the Holding Horses um, logo right there. And I saw this the last time I was there and I was like, oh, this is so cute. And it wasn't, I don't know. I was just really shocked they had it priced at 40. I saw it again, knowing that the tags didn't matter and I grabbed it in 5.99. You can also snap it in the center here and then it gives like a different look. It kind of brings in those sides if you want it to look a little tighter. But how awesome is that bag? I got this belt. Did not look up what comps on this, but it's Tory, not Tory Birch. Um, but here, here's the label, authentic, genuine leather, and this really fun Southwest pattern in excellent, excellent conditions. A little bit of bending right here. So um, it is a size 36, English bridal leather made in the USA. I paid $2.99 for this, maybe $3.99, I don't know. Um, probably list that around $30. This is just a soft surroundings top, which I'm, I don't always pick up soft surroundings, but here is the soft surroundings. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that. And it is an extra large. Um, and then it was like brand new. Like, you know, when you can just tell it's probably never been washed or worn, like the, the creasing is perfect. Like it, if I could call this new, I would call it new, but I can't. It's got these great little buttons here. I um, think I found a stock photo for this too. It's definitely a current piece, a more current piece. Um, and sweatshirts are $3.99 at this place. So I found this Madewell sweater, this Madewell cardigan. This is really cute, very cozy, navy blue, like teddy coziness, open, no buttons. It is from holiday of 2018. So that works for me. Usually with Madewell, if I like it and it's newer than like 2017, I'll grab it. You know, but honestly, if it's 2012 and I think it's pretty, I'll still grab it. But this is a small. I got these aloe leggings. See the aloe? There we go. 
So the comps on these aren't fantastic. They're not bad, um, but this pattern, what I can't figure out is I can't find the size on these and I've looked in all the pockets like I would for Lulu and I haven't found a size and they don't appear to be very much of a high rise. In fact, they seem to they seem to kind of be a low rise. I mean, that this is it on the rise. So I don't know. I'm hoping for like maybe 30, 30, 35 on these would be awesome. And they have the real slouchy. I think this is like the goddess legging. It's one of their signature leggings. Let me just look real quick. I didn't even write these down. Maybe I got 51 pieces. Anyway, that's that. I picked up this skirt um, because of the pattern. I definitely got this based on pattern and it is Polly. And my daughter loves to order from Princess Polly. That's where they get like a lot of their homecoming dresses and stuff. So this is the Starboy mini skirt. It was new with Tad. I'm hoping to get like between $28 and $32 for this. I'll probably list it around $35 because it's new with Tag. How cute. I loved the stars. This is the other pair of aloe leggings. These are moto leggings. You can see right here. These are in great condition. And I think I've just marked these as a small. I just haven't listed the other ones. They also have like a little light mesh panel. So cute. And these were like tucked in with the plus size jeans. So somebody had found these, I'm sure, and either decided they didn't want them or they tucked them away to come back and get them. And I scooped them up. So $3.99 a piece. This was coming out on a new rack. I got this Patagonia. Um, I have this. So when Angelina's friend donated a bunch of items to me, she gave me this exact Patagonia. And I can't remember... What, they had this priced at $5.99. I'm sure this would not have lasted. Um, Patagonia Snap Tool Raw White Pullover in Small. So this was $5.99 as well. Um, I really love the cream color with the patch on it. It's just so simple and it is like brand new. This is also another piece that I'm 99% sure they would have marked this up under the old management. So $5.99 for this. Uh, somebody did come by and say that once the new owners got settled, they were going to have some sort of pricing system where they did mark up a few items. It wasn't going to be as extreme as it was before. And I loved this place before because I always felt like, you know, they would miss, they would miss some of the real high end stuff. This was one of my favorite pieces of the day. Look at this. I loved the mix pattern. When I first looked at it, I thought maybe it was Johnny was. Um, but the brand is Arata, Arata Silent Journey. I wonder if this is an Aritzia brand. It reminds me of Aritzia as well. Um, but that is the tag for this. So beautiful. I absolutely love this. And it's long. We can split at the back. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, I think I have this priced relatively high. This wasn't the best buy, and I should know better. Um... It's not awful, but I loved it. And that's why I bought it and I, I let, it's theory. So I don't think this is old theory. I might be wrong. I need to um, do some research on this. I need to wash this because I found a couple stains and that's why I was bummed out because it is $9 for dresses. And my denim dresses, they don't move as much as I love them. They don't sell like I think they should. Um, so I bought this a little bit more on my feeling and I, and then I got home and I saw a couple of flaws with it. There is one of those pieces or one of those brands that I feel like I could list this for like $50 or 45 and then just forget about it for six months and maybe it will sell for like 35, 40. But I really did love this style. It's very classic. I loved the belt that came with it. Um, so I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna see if I can get, it's just tiny little stains on the arm, like little light brown stains. You almost can't even see them. And if I had seen the stains in the store, I for sure would not have picked that dress up because I was on the fence anyway. I still think it's a beautiful dress. It's also a very small size. This is a Lululemon bra. I loved that it had all the nude accents. I, I really loved this. Usually I will look at the Lululemon logo and if it's really cracked and nasty looking on like a sports bra, I'll leave it behind. And this one wasn't bad. Um, so I'm not really sure what size this is, but I think I'll probably list it around $28, maybe 30. Usually you can find a little size dot tucked in here, 
but if it doesn't have a size dot, that could mean that it's just an older style, but I don't wanna take up too much time. But anyways, cute. I liked the color combo. That's what kind of got me on this. All right, this was a new to me brand, but also potentially a Bolo brand. And I think this was one of the items that I posted on my Instagram story the day that I was out shopping. Um, and it's Bergens of Norway. I did have someone slide up in my DM and say, oh my gosh, good luck with that. Like mine has been sitting for months and not moving. It reminds me of uh, like a better sweater. This, this company, just based off of this piece alone, reminds me a little bit of Ibex, which you guys know I love my Ibex brand, I-B-E-X. If you're unfamiliar, it's a super bolo. They make a lot of wool products, warm winter layer pieces, sweaters. And it also reminds me of like a Patagonia better sweater. So it's that style of a brand. This is a woman's jacket and I found, I found like the style name of it. And I think I have it listed around $75. Not the best time of year to list it, but this was in excellent condition. And um, oh, it looks like a teeny bit of pilling in the back here, but I can definitely sweater shave. I bought this for Angelina and she looks so damn cute in it. I know I'm super partial, but this brand is called Subdued, made in Italy. The fabric tag is worn off. It's 19% viscose and 8% polyester and 73%, I think, merino wool. Maybe it's not cashmere. I can't read it though. How adorable is this? Anything cropped, Angie loves. And this looked so cute with like just cut off jeans. Absolutely adorable. I don't see her in bright colors very often and I thought those were so cute. These, this is Athleta. Again, these were $3.99 and I loved the style of them. Just joggers, really, really cute. There's a name to these. Every time when I come home and I start doing like my spreadsheet, I try to look up comps while I'm doing my spreadsheet. And if I see a stock photo or description or information or comps, I will create a draft right as I'm doing my spreadsheet. So my spreadsheet intake process is pretty long because while I'm doing it, I'll create drafts in Vendu. These are the Flux Street Jogger. Flux Street Jogger, and they're really cute. They're a size small. Athleta also gives the date, and these are holiday of 2017, so a little bit older, but still a great relevant style for right now. A couple pairs of boots to show you. I got these Sam Edelman boots. They are in excellent condition. They have this really nice rubber sole just this soft, soft leather ankle boot that you pull on. I have these listed for $45. This was a brand that I just looked at these boots and I thought that they were quality. And so I looked a little closer and the brand is, I think, M-J-U-S. M -J -U -S. It's gonna be hard to see. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Can you see? Uh, maybe a little bit. Comps for these boots, some of them are really good and the retail on these were really good too. So I think I have these priced, or I'm going to price them at like between 50 and 60 and they're just adorable. I love a, a nice wedge boot, so cute. Okay, <laughs> this was such a random thing and I have it packaged up. It hasn't sold yet, but it's so random. I saw that it said Hatch, so I was thinking Hatch Maternity and I put this on my story as well but it's like a cocoon blanket. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. So the brand is Hatch Sleep. So it's not Hatch Maternity. And this is literally like a cocoon. And the whole idea is it's supposed to be like a compression sort of sleeping bag cocoon for adults. You're literally like your feet can't come out, which would drive me crazy, um, but you're swaddled in it like a baby and it's supposed to help you sleep better. It retails for, I think $120 and I have mine listed for 60 and I've had a couple people put it in a bundle and then not purchase but um, I thought it was some maternity dress when I first saw it it looked like a you know like a dress you would pull up and it would fit snug and be maternity but oh no it's like a cocoon blanket for adults it's a size medium in case you're interested so random happy to buy it and I think they charged me for like a towel or something. I think they charged me like $2.99 for this. Um, I thought that was hysterical. Have you ever heard of this? Never heard of it. All right, my piles are getting big around me. I picked up these Madewell jean shorts. That's an easy pickup for me, high rise. These are little, my lighting's getting funky in here. These are the high rise denim shorts in a size 24. 
These I picked up uh, and I, I did pay the eight whatever. I, well, what did they charge me for these? These are American Eagle, but I love them. I might try these on. These are the curvy mom jeans in a size 12 and they are new with tag. The price tag is $49. I think I have these priced at 40 and they're distressed. I think these are so awesome. I was looking on my solds the other day. I just went to American Eagle and just looked at solds and I'll tell you, I've sold a lot of American Eagle and I don't know, I think the number was something like I've sold 30 American Eagle items and like 17 of them were denim. So American Eagle denim is something I still enjoy picking up. This is beautiful. This is a Kate Spade top. So this really lovely, um, I don't know, it feels, it's like a cowl neck size zero. Um, I can't tell if it's, I don't know, it feels maybe synthetic. I don't think it's silk. Oh, no, it is. It's 55% cotton and then 5% silk. That, that math isn't right. <laughs> it's 55% cotton, 45% silk. So it is silk. I was feeling it like, hmm, the cotton is what threw me off. But isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful pattern top. Just look great with so much. Like, I feel like this is a really versatile piece. You could wear it under a blazer if you wanted. You could wear it with a pair of shorts, jeans, black slacks, and heels if you wanted to be dressy, a black pencil skirt. That is a beautiful piece. It's not listed yet. Um, I was hesitant to get these because I didn't, I don't like, I don't like photographing uh, dark pants, but these were Pamela Herman. And this is a brand uh, for riding. It's like an equestrian brand. And these are really nice pants. The color is midnight. They have this little, in the back, you can kind of see, they have this little like suede patch of black. These retail for around $200. And I looked at this tag and I could tell, you could just tell that this was quality. I'd never heard of this brand before, but I did do a little research and there's little horses right here. I think I have them listed or draft for like $40, $50. So I would be happy with $35 on those. I picked up these Levi's 501s. They just say 501 CT. I don't know what the CT means in the back. Also, when I was in Boston, I have, an, I have a haul coming. I'm gonna put this in my Thrift Across New England series. I went into this amazing consignment store called Covet and they had Wranglers and Lee jeans and Levi's jeans and they were all priced at $55. And they were a very trendy consignment store and they had all those brands all high rise, all slouchy, beat up like this, $55. So definitely don't sleep on beat up old Levi's 501s. Not that many people are sleeping on those. This is Penguin, this is a men's brand. I picked this up only because it was new with tag. And you know, it's a, it's a decent brand. I've had some Penguin stuff sell for good money and I've had stuff that's probably been in my closet for a year and a half, hit or miss. But because it was new, $5.50, 100% Pima cotton, sure. It is a size medium. I love like the heather blue in it, size medium. I got this Soul Cycle t-shirt, Soul Boston. Love having any Boston gear in my closet. I've said this before, I feel like my Soul Cycle stuff used to fly and now post pandemic, uh, it hasn't been doing, it wasn't doing well during the pandemic. I think if you had Peloton gear, Peloton gear was flying because everybody was using their Pelotons at home and SoulCycle kind of slowed down for me. So I don't know if it's gonna make a comeback, but their t-shirts are like two bucks. This is awesome. This is like a DIY Adidas. I'm always trying to say it right, Adidas. Um, I've been saying Adidas for 47 years, so. Um, but this sweatshirt, when I looked up the comps for this, a lot of people wrote like custom tie-dye and they were selling for big money. And this, But this, I got the impression this came this way because it feels like a brand new sweatshirt. You know the difference. It feels like absolute brand new. This was $3.99. You know, the tag is not wrinkled in any way. So I didn't know if I wanted to do custom or DIY. Let me know if you know anything about these hoodies. Do they come like this from the manufacturer? Because some of the people had these Adidas tie-dyes listed at like $75 and I was a little confused, but I love selling this brand. It does very well for me. Um, this must be Free People. Free People is another brand at the store that they used to mark up like crazy. Like when I first started shopping there, they didn't, but in recent years, they would have absurd prices on their Free People. 
Anyways, I thought this was really pretty. A nice high-low tunic length. It had this little drawstring in the back if you want to cinch it in a little bit. Is a size extra small, but I think this would fit like a small medium very easily. This was a North Face that I picked up. I thought this was cute for guys. This was in the sweater or sweatshirt area. So either four or five dollars for this. I just like the colors on it. It doesn't have the North Face like anywhere but on the tag, but it's all cotton, really soft size medium. I think it's great for fall, for up upcoming months. I have something on my chin. These were in the kids section. I walked right by these and I, I really didn't even have to look twice. I knew they were Iviva, which is the Lululemon brand for girls. Can I find the logo anywhere? I'm sure it's on the back of the shorts here. I loved the pattern on these as well. So the Iviva logo is like a little diamond. Can you see that? I have these bright lights on my face and it's really dark in my room so I can't see what you see necessarily, but hopefully you can see that. These are a size 12, I believe. They have the little zipper. I mean, they look just like Lululemon, but I liked this little botanical print. I thought it was really cute. This is brand I had never found before, but the tag looked pretty promising and it is called A Day's March. I just sold um, a chore jacket, which is what this is from Everlane. Um, I had paid up for it when I was doing my thrift across New England and Vermont. I think I paid like $24. Thought I might keep it, but I think I ended up selling it for $55. So I probably just doubled my money, not quite after fees. But this, it, it was very similar to this. I believe this is a men's jacket. This has received a fair amount of attention and I have this priced at $60 or $75. Have you ever heard of a day's march? Uh, comps were pretty decent on it and I can't remember what the retail was for this but it must have been pretty high for me to price it at $75 um, but I thought this was a really cool jacket it's a perfect color for fall um, and I'm definitely thinking about fall right now even though it's just I'm filming this on July 3rd just a couple more things I feel like we need like a seventh inning stretch here um, I picked up these J. Crew shoes, these loafers. They were just in really immaculate condition, like probably brand new. And I loved the little subtle stripe on them and the leather tassels. One of the things that, besides looking up comps, J. Crew makes a lot of shoes. And you see a lot of the J. Crew factory shoes that have like little dots underneath the, the name J. Crew. But a lot of their shoes are made in Italy when you buy them from the high-end, well not high-end, but the real retail location. And that's usually something that is an indicator that it might be something I wanna take home with me. So these were made in Italy, they were size seven, they were like new, and I think they're a great loafer for um, the fall. They're just so cute and $4.99. This is another little cardigan sweater. It feels very tensely, and it is a newer style from Athleta. It's actually from summer of 18. So those joggers that I showed you, they had a tag that looked really old to me, but those were from, was it 17 or 18? I think 17. And this I thought was like a newer tag, but then this is just from 2018, but it's the black tag. It's just like a cocoon style, very lightweight, slouchy, open cardigan. And I found this skirt from Zara, also new with tag. I found a fair amount of new items here. Price tag on here, it looks like it was like a sale price that went over, uh, is $39.90. I don't know if that was the original price. This feels so soft. It's obviously vegan leather, but I loved the ruffle detail on top. And I got that poly skirt that was also like a vegan leather skirt. This is more pencil skirt and a little bit dressier. I thought this was so fabulous. Um, this would actually look amazing with the Kate Spade top tucked in wear this high-waisted with the ruffle and then that cowl neck with some sexy shoes. Mm, that would be such a pretty outfit. Anyways, this is a size large, new with tag from Zara. I do like picking up certain Zara pieces. They're not all created equally. And I'm not the best at deciding which ones are great and which ones aren't, but I know that I love that style. So I have a hard time finding a lot of Zara information. I think they just put out so many pieces um, let me know if you have any good tips on how to research Zara. Um, besides using Google Lens, which is one of my favorite tricks, if you haven't heard already, if you go into your if, if you go into Google on your phone and there's like a little lens, you just tap on the lens and you take a picture of an item and it brings up anything that looks like that item. So even if you know nothing about brand, even if you know nothing about what it is, it will pull up styles. And you know, I would say six out of ten times 
boom, it brings up the item that I'm looking for. But about 40% of the time you get random stuff and it doesn't apply. So you win some, you lose some, but I love, love Google Lens. I picked up these Chick jeans that are vintage, C-H-I-C, which I know the correct pronunciation is chic, but when it comes to jeans, I believe these were pronounced chick. That's what I remember when I was a young and anyways, they're very slouchy mom tapered jeans. Um, I would guess they're around a size eight, 10. The size isn't on there. There's a point in the video where I'm nervous that I'm missing something. I did get a pair of shorts that I know are in the wash. They are called Savage Barbell shorts. And I think they, they are like uh, workout shorts, but they're for like the bodybuilder community. Um, and those were $3.49, those are in the wash. I also got a pair of Nike dry fit black shorts, nylon shorts that Angie ended up getting. I bought myself some Chanel blush for $3.99. It was like in this little compact from Chanel. And um, I don't know if you think that's gross that I bought somebody else's blush. I came home and I took a baby wipe and I just like wiped off, like I took it a couple times and just got the surface off and then let it dry. So I've been using it and I, I like it. And then on my anniversary, I went into uh, Saks and we were going out to dinner. So I'm like, I'm gonna treat myself to some nice uh, makeup. And I wanted a new lip color from Chanel. So I went over there. I've never bought Chanel lipstick before. And oh my God, the color that I got was called Boy. And it is just like, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's so creamy and nice. But anyways, I showed the woman my compact and she said to me, Oh, that's a really pretty color because she was showing me blush and I said I actually just got a I have a blush from Chanel and I showed her my compact and she said hmm I've worked here for 10 years and I've never seen that color before <laughs> so all of a sudden I was like oh good job Lori you are wearing blush that is at least 10 or 11 years old I'm like oh um <laughs> I got it from my mom I totally told a white lie because I was embarrassed that I bought used blush but Usually I don't embarrass very easy, but I was definitely caught off guard when she said it was at least 10 years old. I think that's all the stuff. Oh, let me show you some of the stuff that's sold. I just wanted to give a shout out to Stacy in Las Vegas who purchased the Sweet Savasana sweater, hooded sweater from Lululemon. I picked this up and it sold to Stacy for $45. I had it listed a little bit high, but Stacy is a great customer and buys a lot of stuff for me. So I gave it to her for $45 and maybe discounted shipping. So thank you, Stacy, so much. And the other thing that sold was this great vintage sweater. I also posted this sweater on my stories and I was like, gaudy or like fantastic. And I think the verdict was gaudy and fantastic. And so I did buy it and it was one of the first things to sell. I think it sold for $32. Um, let me just look really quickly here. Yeah, vintage sequin floral turtleneck sweater rust. Had these big bright red raspberry flowers with sequins. It was just fantastic. So $32. I feel like this haul in particular has potential of having an incredible payout. I got around 50 items, and if my average payout is around $30, that means $1,500. That means my average selling price would have to be around $38 um, to make that much money. But even if I was on the, like, the $1,000 to $1,200 range, that would be an incredible return for a $275 investment. With the three sales that I've already made, the Longchamp bag for $75 on Facebook Marketplace, and the Lululemon sweater and the vintage sweater. I'm at $152 in sales on just those three items. So those average $50 per item in sales. So it's looking pretty good for this haul. If you're interested in any information on Vendu, I do have a link in my description. If you wanna give it a try, you can list five items for free. Um, if you wanna try cross-posting to Facebook Marketplace, I know that they run specials sometimes through Facebook Marketplace. Like I know the 4th of July weekend was free shipping. So it's good to just pay attention if you have some items that you want to cross-post during a shipping promotion. I think because Facebook Marketplace is a newer platform, they're offering more promotions, so it's worth um, kind of keeping up with. So this haul really made me so happy. Uh, it was one of those like, adrenaline high dopamine days shopping and finding all these incredible brands i hope you enjoyed this haul be sure to give it a thumbs up if you had a good time subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me and i just want to share before we go i am on amazon merch now and i'm making some t-shirts and i made this thrift goddess t-shirt and i ordered it for myself in a 2x 
thinking that I was just gonna wear it big and slouchy, but it's actually a little too big for me. So comment below if you're interested in this. I will send it to you for $10 shipped. On Amazon, they are $15.99 but I will send this one to you for $10. If you're interested, comment below. And I will also leave a link below if you would like to order your own Thrift Goddess t-shirt. I have one that says Thrift Queen and one that says Thrift Goddess. So you need to tell me if you're a Thrift Queen or a Thrift Goddess. The Thrift Queen one has like a retro record player. I kind of had like a little vintage inspiration going when I created these. Let me know if there's any other shirts you'd like me to make because I'm having a lot of fun making shirts for Amazon and on Amazon. And let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was that I found at this haul. Thank you all so much for your continued support. You mean the world to me. I'll be back really soon with another video. Thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye. Mwah, mwah.